I still have a problem with government. I have a problem with the Lord government, with the Graham government, with the Allward government, with the Gallant government, and guess what? And it could be another one. Why, if they would just leave education alone, let the educators take it, give, let educators take education back. Let's, let, we can, we can tell the government what we're doing. Um, we used to do it. In this district, we led the province in Canadian test of basic skills. That was the, the standard measure. And we compared favorably with the national norm and sometimes excel. Let me ask you this, though. Okay, let's, let's assume that your wish was right. granted and the educators assumed control of the system. Mm -hmm. What would be the, the most prominent differences between the system we have now and the system that the educators would design? Well, one thing, um, you're, you're kind of setting me up for this. That's because, my job. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I wrote a piece so. not too long ago in a commentary, and I used the title, Make New Brunswick Great Again. And you know where that's coming from? But they wouldn't use that title. But, <laughs> but what I'm thinking uh, is, um, you know, uh, if we did things that the educators wanted, he, your, your people, the teachers, we wouldn't be moving toward early French immersion today. That wouldn't even be an issue. With the 10-year plan, um, Karen Power um, went around the province and consulted. They had some consultation meetings that were um, extremely well conducted by the Department of Education, wonderful uh, people there, and they had wonderful four-color documentation. Six and I went to the one in St. John, the consultation, and I went to the one in Fredericton. Uh, Single-digit number of parents showed up in both. Just a tremendous, wow. tremendous waste of time, uh, but the opportunity was there, but the consultation wasn't. But Karen Power went to the NBTA. She consulted with them. Um, she went to different uh, interest groups and spoke to them. She went to the universities, and she wrote her report, which turned out to be, I think, a well-written document. Now, within that, uh, it's a safe document. Uh, nothing's going to happen a whole lot. You don't have to worry about it, it over the 10 years. When it came to the immersion part, she wrote a piece, and she's, in her piece she said, um, if the government considers uh, a change in going back to the first grade entry, um, be very careful. If there's a negative uh, impact, if it was gonna have a negative impact, don't do it. Review this uh, decision again. Mm -hmm. The government just ignored that. Uh, she wrote it in because she was told by educators, don't go down that road, but she had to do it. She had to write it in, but she wrote it in such a way that she had cautioned but the government just ignored that, and they're bringing it in in September 17. Okay, well, let, me, let me just stop you there. Yeah. 